Today, we want to talk about cruising and how to select the right cruise ship. We've been on more than 40, and it took us a while to narrow down how to pick the right one. So let me give you guys a little brief history. We took our first cruise in 1989 on the SS Norway. And we didn't know anything about a ship. No. It's just that we knew that we wanted to take a vacation. And we went into a hard office travel agent down the street from our house, and she sold us on this cruise. Because at that time, there was no YouTube, there was no internet, we couldn't research it for ourselves. We just looked at the brochure and said, okay, that's a Caribbean cruise, we'll take it. Yeah, so all we knew was we were going on a cruise, and we were going to the Caribbean. And so what happened was we got on this ship, and we were, hey, green as a pool table and twice as square. We didn't know anything about cruising. So we had, the, we got the cheapest fare, guys, like most people do on their first cruise. We was on deck one. I think it was two. It was a, somewhere <laughs> near the bottom. <laughs> hey, guys, we were so close to the engine that we could actually hear the engine in our cabin. And it was an inside cabin. Uh, we didn't have any windows. No, no. And so also, this is comical. We didn't know that your cabin steward would come and make up your cabin. We thought somebody was trying to break in the cabin to us, so don't judge us. Don't judge us. <laughs> we were asleep and we thought, who's coming in the door at night? We've grown a, a lot since then. But researching, finding out what ship you want to cruise on is very important now. And it's much easier now with YouTube and other resources, you know. You can put in the time, you can make a good judgment when you're researching a cruise. And it's important to do that research because some people who are not or are new to cruising will try one, have chosen the wrong ship, didn't have the experience they wanted, and want to never cruise again and tell everybody else that cruising is no good as well. So right out of the gate, if someone is thinking about a cruise, I highly recommend that you go to YouTube. You know, go to YouTube, put in cruises, and you will receive a plethora of information in regards to all type of cruises and spend a little time. But you can do food tours. You can do actual walking tours, virtual walking tours through the ship. You can do cabin tours. Yes, you know, it'll yes. show you what an inside cabin is. It'll show you what an ocean view, what a balcony, what a suite. Because if you rely solely on what you hear in travel groups, that can be detrimental because everybody's opinion is different. And it is important, first of all, to decide what kind of experience you want from cruising. Some people want adventure. Some people want nightlife. You gotta pick the one, decide what you want. We own a travel agency, and that's how we vet potential clients. We'll say whether it's a cruise or a land tour, what kind of experience do you wanna have on your vacation? Once they let us know that, then we can recommend options that will fit them. So your cruise experience needs to fit what you're looking for. Yeah, you'll find some people who will go, say, to Alaska. They will take a bathing suit and a bikini. And then they'll come back and say the, the, the cruise was trash. Yeah. Well, you don't necessarily go to Alaska with a bathing suit and a bikini. That's not <laughs> what, you go to the Caribbean and you go to south of France, you go to a warm weather climate. Yes. But yes. when you pick the wrong itinerary in the wrong ship, and then you come back and say it was horrible, but it wasn't so much that the ship was horrible, that your expectations and your planning wasn't proper. Yes, 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 yes. Each cruise line is different, uh, and cruise ships are different within the line. We like various mm -hmm. cruise lines. We really like Celebrity. We really like Royal Caribbean. But we like their newer, larger ships. There are some Royal Caribbean ships that I would not cruise on again. They're just too small, too old. They don't offer the cruise experience that I'm looking for. And most of the ships that you get on, they cater to a certain clientele. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't like what they're catering to, you're probably not going to find a fit there for you. Some so, are more kid friendly. Yes. When our son was small, we definitely chose the ones that had water slides and all the fun things that he would enjoy and that we could enjoy as a family. You know, and you hear people say that, well, this cruise line is for old people. This cruise line here is for the turn up. This cruise line here, don't play enough of this music. Don't play enough of that music. Well, that can be true. But in order for you to try to find your fit, you got it gets back to research. Yeah. You know, yeah. and here's another important part too factor too. You can sail on the same ship and the experience can be different from week to week because a lot of the passengers bring the vibe with them. Exactly. If exactly. you get a party group get on any ship, if they bring that vibe with them, they're going to party on that ship. Be or it's the time of year. For True. example, currently we're on the Celebrity Eclipse and it's the week after Thanksgiving. 
Last week, we were told there were lots of families and lots of kids. The kids were out of school. This week, not so much. It just depends on when school is out and when people want and can cruise. And another important thing, too, guys, is you're going to normally get what you pay for when it comes to comfort, food quality, entertainment yes. level. And if you get a $15 cruise, guys, come on. <laughs> If you now, can find one. Yeah, but I'm just trying to make a point. If you get yeah. a $15 crew, what do you expect? Yeah. You know, so yeah. it equates. And so now sometimes you can get a good deal on a real high-level cruise ship. That's exceptional. Normally, the price is going to fit the product. What you pay for yeah. well is said. what you're going to get. Well you said. Know, it's, well said. It's hard to get around that. But this is the reality of the situation. You normally get what you pay for when it comes to cruising. And here's another consideration. Yes, you can book directly with the cruise line, but I recommend booking through a professional, like us, we're cruise experts, to match. Oftentimes, the prices we have, because we have group space, are lower than what you can get with the cruise line. But more importantly, we can help you find, cut down a lot of the guesswork as to what you will enjoy, and you will have the vacation experience that you're looking for. And just to bring that home a little bit more, as travel professionals, if a young couple come to us, early 20s on their honeymoon, we're not going to put them on, we're not going to recommend that they go on Princess or Holland American or Viking. We would recommend probably Carnival. We'll recommend Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Virgin, yeah. Norwegian, because we know normally what they're looking for, they're not going to find it on those previous ships of that name. And so the crews have to fit the person. Yeah. That's where your travel advisor and your professionals come in. They will put you on a ship where it fits you and your personality. Yes, yes, yes. And we're experts, so we know which cruise ships offer which activities. Some have pickleball, some have basketball, mm -hmm. some have water slides, bumper cars. We know who has what. We can help you out. Yeah. Time of year, location, price, all of that factors in when you're selecting a cruise. So cruising really is the best value vacation for your vacation dollar if you choose the right one. And as you see, with new ships coming online, with more innovation, more activities, more things added into it, the prices are increasing also. Yes. But when you equate that with all-inclusive resorts, Las Vegas, Atlantic City, all your other entertainment centers, Singapore, wherever you go, cruising apples to apple comparison across the board, cruising is still the best value for your money. Your food is included, your entertainment is included, the making up your cabin two or three times a day. You really can't beat it. So, research, dig deep, find out what fits you, and then pull the trigger.